explain the whole brotherhood and the weekend wedding. I'll start by saying that there's a love triangle between Josh and Anna Paquin and Katie. Josh and Anna are getting married and <clears throat> and Katie's there and they still have feelings for each other. It's about these eight friends who get together after, after years um, and uh, we're here for a wedding and I'm, and uh, I'm somebody who's a little bit conflicted I guess on whether or not I'm going to go through with it. Yeah. The story of the film is about these people coming together and the alchemy of the, their togetherness and, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, and so we've gotten quite close as a group and mm. this experience has been, I think the film is, is coming out of the, the life of that, you know, how, how the, the sort of uh, closeness and all these things sort of coalescing into the story of the movie. Mm -hmm. How is it working in, like, this big ensemble cast? How much fun is it? I think ensemble acting is kind of the best because you really do have to rely on your team and mm -hmm. work together, and also it means you have people to play with. Yeah, and, <laughs> and we, fun. Galt wrote a beautiful script, and it's full of these very distinct characters, so mm -hmm. we have a great time. We've had a great time developing these people and playing off of each other, like Anna was saying, and it's just been great to... You know, we've all been together making this. It's a very kind of a short period of time relatively to make a movie. And we're in this small town and we, we get to hang out together and, you know, really have the luxury of rehearsing and working on the scenes and, and you know, getting to know each other, which is really, really exciting and, and wonderful. It's, it's wonderful to um, be with actors and just create. Do you get scenes with both Anna and Katie? Yes. What's that like? They are, uh, they've been fantastic. I've only been here for about a week, but I had a chance to work with both Anna and Katie now. And, and uh, it's, it's, you know, they're two people that I've wanted to work with for a long time, and, and I have a lot of respect for both of them, so it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Now, this is a G-rated interview, but still, you do have sexy scenes with both Katie <laughs> and Anna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would say so, I would say so. Uh, I mean, nothing more than just a little kissing here and there, but, yeah, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's one of the perks of the job, I guess. <laughs> Those are two women we both watch grow up, kind of, and become women. So yeah. what is it like now watching them and seeing them as women? It's funny to be, because we're all roughly the same age, which is yeah. kind of interesting, because even Elijah, mm -hmm. I've seen you guys act since I was so young. Mm -hmm. um, so then just to even be the same age is odd to me. And, and uh, right. it's interesting. I don't know if that makes any sense. But. <laughs> no, but it's, it is true. It is true. I mean, it, you know, we have watched the two of them as as grow up, yeah. girls grow into to women, and um, it is it is kind of fascinating. And I, I too really respect them. It's mm -hmm. so wonderful to sort of see them in these kinds of roles as well. Who's who? Like, who's the silly one? Who's the romantic? <laughs> who's the? Uh, I have uh, some issues. Yeah, uh, a <laughs> little bit, a uh, little bit. Cra I mean, my character Free. does. I mean, right, I, I do. Right, of right. course, we all. I sure do. All. I'll speak for myself. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, this character has uh, a few, a, a few deeper issues going on. Uh, but she's also, she's kind of the 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 leader of the pack, and and um, she's a little bit crazy. And her name is Tripler, and she's the party girl, and and wants to have fun, and and doesn't really want to face the reality of her own life. But she's always kind of been the the party girl of the group. And then there's Wheezy. So I'm playing Wheezy. He's mm -hmm. kind of the quiet, conservative one. It's kind of awkward and shy, um, but there's a lot of tension inside that's kind of building and waiting to get out. So it's kind of fun to see what happens. And our medical that. student. Oh yes. Oh. And the one who's on a, like a really straight path to a professional career in medicine. Yeah. I play Minnow, and I'm the precocious younger sister, which is so fun to play. And I think Minnow might be my favorite character name that really? I've ever had. <laughs> I love it's it. Amazing. <laughs> Hey, do you have any of those, uh, like, like, colored umbrellas, colorful... Let's get some chairs. Oh, like, tropical umbrellas I can put in my whiskey. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was it's free. It's, a, it's an open bar. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me about yeah. the scene you're shooting tonight, because it's kind of during the wedding, or is it a rehearsal dinner? It's Tell me about tonight. If you've been to a rehearsal dinner, it'll be a... A few really inappropriate speeches. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Some, a lot of awkwardness. This one here just completely blows it. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that, I think, I think his uh, speech he's got coming up is 
one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Because. Just because he's so inappropriate. It's yeah, perfect. Very inappropriate. Very <laughs> one, of the, one of those guys very who doesn't get it. He just keeps sort of... It doesn't matter that all the sound falls out of the room. Yeah. He just keeps going. Yeah. And then goes again. Yeah. And by the way, have you been to a wedding where that happens or did it happen at, any, at your wedding or anybody else's that where you get the inappropriate speech and you're like, dude, sit down? Mine were pretty good. I was pretty happy with it. A, a, a buddy of mine went up and said something where I was afraid he was going to say something really, really, you know, distasteful, but he didn't. He was actually great. Right. And he could have. He, he could had have the been. arsenal. He's somebody, that, that he's somebody that easily could have, but he didn't. Right, right, right. So I wish I had a funny story about that, but no, they were all pretty good. Kate, how hard is it to do the a part thing with Tom? Because he's filming in Boston. We were just there. So how do you guys work that whole thing? It's been great because he's been in Boston, and it's about, I don't know, like an hour or two hour, no, like a half an hour flight. And so we've been there on the weekends, and Connor's been doing Red Dawn in mm -hmm. Detroit. So... It's a very exciting time. We feel really lucky that we're all working. And so we get together on Friday nights in Boston and talk about the week. And now Tom's in Austria shooting, right, right. jumping off of buildings and sprinting on top of, you know, high buildings. And uh, we're going to go meet him in Spain. And how much fun is it to be able to have your child here? How, much, oh. how great is that? We've, We've all been enjoying <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's everyone's child. Yeah. 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 We'd like to think. Yeah, she, she brings a very special uh, sparkle to the set. Explain your role in the romantic. I'm the old person. <laughs> um, and they're all young and vibrant, and I'm sort of the old crab. And that's basically it. And, and, and it's, uh, it's just working with a, a really great bunch of kids. How much fun are you having? With I'm having life? such a good time with them, because they're all great. They're all so much fun and they're hardworking and talented and very smart and um, and there's not a, a bad apple in the bunch which is rare mm -hmm. um, and it's it's just been sort of a great diversion this this job really really a real pleasure 